And now, the people, so-called most downtrodden people, people on the bottom of the totem pole, the descendants of slaves, they are now looking to that light in the east. Islam is going to take over everything. Shaitan's kingdom is coming down. Because he cheated the Orient people to run to where there's no light, only darkness to cheat them with the material things. And he took everything from those people, those downtrodden people that had nothing, took their heritage, took their language, gave them poor food, and they only had to look to Allah and Allah is giving them their blessings and answering their prayer by giving them that light of Islam to bring everybody back to Allah Almighty. Thank you. Because this is real. Why do you think we're here? I'm not a lecturer. I didn't come here to entertain any of you. You have to know why you're here, why you wear the crown of the prophet. It's an honor. Those ignorant ones don't know the value of being in their hearts being connected to the prophet. They're reading, reading books and not getting anything. They're not engaged in that conversation to get that power from the heart of the prophet, peace be upon him. Speech is an attribute of Allah Almighty. That conversation is continuing. And that's why the hearts, Allah says, Calvin Mukman, Beit Allah, the heart of the believer is the house of Allah Almighty. Why? Because the prophet sits on the throne of their hearts. We can't go up. That is the intercessor. That is the intercession. If he is not sitting on the throne of our hearts, Allah Almighty cannot address us. Get that in. Because the ones that get that and keep that and believe that, you will see in the coming days, Allah Almighty establishing them and strength and power in the land. Feeding only Allah Almighty and having the taqwa, having the protection of Allah Almighty. Bringing down the kingdom of Shaitan. Before our very eyes. Before our very eyes. Shaitan's whole message to humanity. is do not look to the east for guidance. Look to the west for the milk and honey, the milk and honey, the material things. I will give you everything. And he's cheating so many people. They have secret societies and secret societies and secret societies and secret societies. And every, the whole secret of the secret of the secret of the secret in those secrets is that Islam is the threat to our way of life. Takbir! 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 And if the people ever turn their hearts and their minds to Allah Almighty, we are finished. We are finished. Now, their secrets are being exposed. Because anytime you are in a court of law, and you may have a view, that, and someone against you may have a view, and the judge, everything will be judged by the judge and jury based on the evidence. Now the evidence 
of Shaitan's secret, 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 secret societies are being blown up by those who are worshiping or worshipers in those secret societies, losing their souls for a miserable game. And it has to come because the prophet peace upon him was a merciful humanity. Yes, there were people when he came, they were worshiping idols. They were doing all kinds of abominations, burying their daughters alive and doing worse things than what they do now. But the prophet peace be upon him was a mercy for them. When he came to them, he came to them, was around them. He talked to them, they cleaned them. Then, when they decided not to change their way of life, that they felt he was a threat, they attacked him. That was the wrong decision. They made the wrong choice. They attacked him, and Allah Almighty wiped them out through him. Through him. Do you think Allah Almighty has changed? Moses did it with Pharaoh. You think Allah Almighty has changed? You think Allah still cannot bring down Shaitan's kingdom? You still think that? To the point that you are running from that light and you're running for that support to lose your soul for a miserable gain? You think Shaitan has got the power? run with him. I guarantee you if he start on the one yard line, he will not get to the 50 yard line. He may not get to the five yard line. I guarantee you there's something else happening. Those whose hearts are connected to the hearts of those hearts who's connected to the prophet's hearts, they know. That's the only reason they're on the planet. They're not here for this world. Why should they only be here for this world? Put all their apples in one basket. They know people leave out this world. There has to be something better than this. That's called Islam. And as you begin to practice that and accept that, you grow into your Iman. Now, that that you feel, you begin to see that that you feel. It's just like there are some viruses that you may look under a microscope and cannot see them. Some you can see. But you can feel the illness when it comes on you that they are attacking your body. The doctor says, well, uh, they're not mature enough yet, uh, so we can't, we have to give you this antibiotic until something something uh, develops. If they're not mature, then they couldn't be harming you. We just can't see them. The scientists now, are, their, their minds, are, they just, they're going nuts. They too now are looking for something more than themselves. Because they can't explain it. I can't explain it. It's unexplainable. Because Shaitan is ruling he, he, he rules the educational system. He, he, he rules the religion. He, he rules everything, the politics. You can think, you may go up through this world by going into politics and going into parliament and going into democracy or whatever and thinking you may go up to change something. That is only a trick. That is a trick. There is no elections in Islam. Allah Almighty points who he wills to do what he wills. They are his obedient servants that Allah raised.